What is up guys, welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be talking about Saduchi emulator. I don't really say things correctly. Hi. Um, but it just had its newest release yesterday, which allows the home menu to boot. And I figured we'd take a look at the emulator in kind of a more in-depth thing. If possible, we're going to take a look at its uh, change logs, I guess. Just to take a look, because there's 34 commits so far. You know, added initial source code fixing a whole bunch of stuff uh, that's a little bit sketchy update to latest ea thanks to discord guys great remove workflow file hooks merge main fix a couple of memory leaks up to 15 megabytes each iteration wow fixing memory leaks this might be a reason i use this honestly because yuzu was a memory leak hog it leaked more memory than chrome and that's saying a lot about 40,000 memory leaks total, I believe I was told last. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, Rebrand to Saduchi Rip Yuzu. Haha, <laughs> that's funny. Does this work? I hate Git sometimes. So do we, don't we all? Uh, cleaned up a bit. Yeah, good. Add it, Princess Peach Showtime. That's really good. Hotfix Geometry Stage. Updated. Read me. Oh. Uh, Princess Persia fix for rendering backends. That's nice. Add output folders. Remove all key generation. It's good. Add. I don't know what the heck that is, but it's another fix from here, I guess. They updated to QT6, which is kind of big. Added 17 stubs. Fixed Discord RPC and updated externals. Updated QB and TZDB. I don't know what that is, but QB is audio. And there's the stubs, added 18 stubs for all documentation function in Switch Homebrew. And more version 18 stubs, which is nice. Added Q launch preliminary 18 support. And that's where we are right now. So there's a lot of work done in this. I mean, he's been adding support for games and fixing support for other games, which is nice. And I've not really looked into it that much, but I have downloaded the build. And as you can see, the uh, UI is a bit bigger than normal in many of the places. And I mean, it doesn't look that bad, but it's a bit weird, you know? So to do this, I like how it shows the update. We're going to try Peach. And uh, we're going to see what happens, but we're going to boot it from the home menu. Because that's just who we are. So we're in the home menu. I got to find my controller. It's right here. Our start. And we need to find Peach. Because there's a ton of games in here. And I need to find... Is any of these, like, organized at all? There's options. I guess it doesn't like the options. We're going to have to restart the emulator again, aren't we? We soft locked. All right. We're going to start it from the home menu, okay? And it does not like restarting. Who would have saw that coming? Reminds me of Yuzu in a lot of ways. No. No. I'm bad at home menu. All right. Sort by R. By title. Let's give it a second. You could do these. Hopefully. Okay, so I found it. And I also switched to game mode, so game capture. Alright, let's see if this thing boots up from here. Hopefully it does. That would be great. Why am I talking like this? I don't know. Let's continue. Alright, I'm going to pause this. Well, holy hell. Holy hell. Look at that. It booted. Damn. I like this curtain effect. I know it's not 3D whatsoever. And I know it's like, it's just digital, but it gets the eyes going. And it looks really cool. Now the real test is, can we load in game? Okay. So that's not going to work. Let's stop on that. And let's move on to something else instead.
Oh, well. Hopefully we can get something else to work. Well, we're going to get a lot of things to work, but it's just that, you know, I really wanted to try that one because this says there was fixes for it. Um, let's try Persia or Prince of Persia. There it is. Let's favorite that. Let's give this a boot and see what we can get done. I'm going to add some volume. There we go. Eh, it's not supposed to show my mouse. There we go. Let's jump in. I just want to play. Alright, I've not tried this game on anything Yuzu related yet. Because Raging ran it perfectly without any issue. So far, so good. Destroy that. Whatever that was. Oh. Um. There we go. You only get one. Alrighty. Seems to be running good. Uh. I am. All right. Rain of fire. Keep running, Sargon. Rain of fire. They just ditched me. The enemies are so spread out. Well, this game seems to work ridiculously well. So, it has the home menu working on firmware 18. Firmware 18 seems to be working fine with the proper keys. And I don't see any real problem of why not to use this. They removed auto key generation, which is nice, and everything's still functioning. And it... There we go. Got him off my bridge. Thing seems to function very well. Whoa, that thing in the background just fell down. Cool. Ooh. 
Hey, big guy. True enough. Let's go kill him. We're not going to kill him. I'm actually going to stop here. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description below for you guys to check out this emulator. There's also an iOS version and an Android version. So look into that. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.